Alright people, we are back. If you were here for the last episode, you will notice that the screen is now in widescreen format. Um, it took a long time to get the second episode up simply because I have recorded this episode not once, but twice. And uh, my widescreen mods kept failing and kept crashing and I kept getting corrupt saves so that is why I have been away so long as far as the game series has been concerned uh, for those who came back thank you for your patience and uh, just a quick reminder we do got mods going on besides this widescreen fix we got a damage mod that makes blaster damage and lightsaber damage more uh, akin to their movie film counterparts as in if you get shot with a blaster you die you hit with a lightsaber you die so that's where we're at with it so it makes the game more challenging than it normally would be and t3 is running into a cousin looks like this fuffer irreparable damage doubtful and now that we're rolling with T3, we don't have to break stuff anymore, so that's a good thing. We can just break into it. We can be a thief instead of a brute. Let's her who evil, right? So, uh, I am very paranoid because I know there are droids aplenty downstairs and like I've said before we have modded this game so damage hurts a lot more than normally would so basically if I get shot that's it starting over from the save and look at the Ebon Hawk <laughs> journal entry added now in normal playthrough I would not be looking at these at all but since I'm doing a Let's play, let's see what we say. Uncover the Ebon Hawk. T3 has found the Ebon Hawk in Hangar Bay 25. Now it's just a matter of finding a way to get Zed Raheem down to the Hangar Bay. And that gave me a nice little excuse to say how you're supposed to pronounce the name of my character, Zed Raheem. It is a bad idea to equip both blasters, but I'm doing it anyway. I guess I am more of a masochist than I will admit. Uh, I could have swore I had more armor that I had picked up for you. Alright, whatever. It, not that it'll matter anyway. If I get shot, that's it. So, hang our controls and see what we got here in case we gotta do some hacking. Parakeet. Up if you look over there, you can see that damage is abound. Got droid or yeah, droid. The plenty over there that are gonna have to get killed probably at some point. I don't remember Paragus much because usually I play with a mod called uh, Skip Paragus because this is more of a tedious tutorial than anything. Um, but for the purpose of the let's play, I'm playing it. You know? And I haven't played this since the one on this tutorial. That doesn't make sense. I don't even know what I did. I think we're going through that door in a minute. I know this one shouldn't open up yet because we're not ready to face what's over there. And it's dangerous to go alone. So the parts have been removed from this console and a laser drill has been used on a number of subsystems. Place parts. Uh, need some more. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. So, looks like we're going on a mission to hunt for parts. And if I rec oh my god, and I didn't save. So guys, <laughs> you might be seeing the first restart that quick because I did not save, and we're gonna die that quick. <laughs> Alright, so we survived. Oh, you're like, what the hell happened to the music? Uh, um, 
I got interrupted for a minute, so uh, that'll get edited out in post. The fact that there was interruption. All right, here goes nothing. Let's see how much far I can shoot. <laughs> oh Jesus! If you haven't, if you've beaten this game before, if you've beaten it a lot before, or if you beat it once or twice. I highly recommend going back and trying this mod, which is uh, in the description below the video and uh, giving it a shot. This is Paragus, this is the tutorial level. And anything here can kill me in one shot, give or take. That's intense. And uh, it's really raising the enjoyability of this game again for me because I've beaten this game <laughs> so many times I've beaten on Xbox, I've beaten on PC alright oh my god that moment when you realize that you still haven't saved Take a deep breath for that one. And take your own advice. These two saves because the other one just wasn't working. Uh, I haven't even been talking about the stuff I've been picking up because I'm so paranoid. I'm sorry guys about that. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, Ion Blast Mark components. We got some parts. Haha, <laughs> that's the whole reason we came down here. Rec droid contains a special droid based item that when equipped, all droids to perform special attacks against opponents. This destroyed droid contains an ion blaster which is extremely effective against droid opponents and energy shields. Only has a lim limited number of charges after which it is destroyed. At is absolutely useless in this playthrough for now. Because we won't be able to get close enough to anything to use that. Striker, Sonic Mine, Datapad, Paragus, Depot Survey, Purged, the fuel lines, and I find three Sonic charges attached inside. I checked the work logs and only droids have been in the area. I tried to contact security as soon as I found explosives, but I can't seem to get a signal through. I remove the remote detonators and I'll keep the explosives on me until I can put them in secure hold in the hangar. Somebody was trying to pull the Chewie and Han, huh? Blow this place to hell. Uh -huh. I wonder who did that. I know exactly who did all this stuff, but like I said before, in the off chance that somebody watching this video has not played this game, I'll try to keep spoilers to a minimum. I'll try. I'll probably fail. Because since I know this game inside out, I'll probably fail. And drop spoilers. But if I do, please forgive me. If you haven't played this game before. So apparently the shields mean nothing because of the damage increase from this mod. So blasters are cutting right through shields. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, no, I did get that. Okay. Basically, this mod turns every blaster into Chewie's Wookiee Bowcaster in The Force Unleashed. Which means that it's knocking the hell out of things. knocking people off their feet all right so it looks like we're getting ready to make the transition back into our actual character place the part uh, we don't need that Okay, 
check out status emergency subsystems. Which door do we over? Fuel depot? I think that's the one. been through because you know she's all about removing some conduits logs yeah let's check out the logs drift charge to the ebon hawk so that means we can get out of here now uh let's see a lot of cargo from the jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks and as requested, all the programming spikes the security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well, to prevent further system compromises. Mm. Secure cargo hold should be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Mm. Seems like that's what was gonna ordered the mining droids to repair that Jedi's freighter. I come in here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to, but you can't just commission droids for repairs, especially with half the work ships in Medbay. Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship can go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Nava computer's been voice locked. You'd need the access code to get it spaceworthy. Considering this latest droid commission breach, I'm putting the droids in this section under the control of the current dock officer. If anyone sends commands to the mining droids outside this terminal, I'll be forced to enact full override. Hmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. So, somebody had that locked up. They were had a way off the planet, or off the uh, station and everything. Hmm. Looks like those droids got the vessel working again. Even with all the damage it had taken. And the maintenance officer still won't admit ordering them to fix it, though. Regardless, still no luck accessing the Nava computer. It's been voice locked. Maybe by one of the corpses we found on the ship. Like the old woman. If so, that ship isn't going anywhere. Hmm. Unless we rip out the Nava computer and put in a new one. If we even had one to spare. The only reason someone would lock their Nava computer is to hide their astrogation charts. Someone didn't want us to know where that ship was going. Or where it had been. Only smugglers do that. Or someone with something to hide. That Jedi's got a lot of questions to answer. That Jedi don't answer questions typically. Cousins at DCOM area. I do not remember what to do, <laughs> and that's kind of embarrassing because I've done this so many times. for a minute because I was actually thinking about what the guy said on the logs I never really listened to those you know you get used to playing a game and you kind of skip stuff and um, if you listen to the logs he tells you exactly what happens and I'm used to just having it happen and being like oh wow look at that but yeah fair warning from the logs all right <laughs> Time to be a pansy. Save every couple seconds. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was 
worse than like a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare or anything like that. I was here in one second, and then the next second. <laughs> And that's scary for more than just the fact that I know that one shot will probably kill me. But if you had like a arachnophobia and you see this metal spider crawling around the corner and it was way down here a second ago, that's terror right there. That really just took the breath out of me, guys. Oh my god. And so did that because I didn't realize that it was going to be broken because it's been so long. I thought I was gonna die with then. So, in that vein. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that a mod would change the game so much. Oh my Jesus, help me. Oh, I'm so glad I'm, the T3 is a much better shot than a mine android. More components, energy shield. That'll come in handy, I hope. We'll see, I guess. I know that once I do get a lightsaber, that lightsaber will be doing so much damage. But also, once I get my deflection skill up, it'll probably make the game a little too easy. Can I hack the containment field? Impossible. Impossible! Alright, alright, I'm starting to remember where I'm at now. As soon as I touch this terminal, uh, cutscene's gonna play. So, let's get ready to go back to our main character. Mr. Zetraim. All around terrible person. Oh, look at that. See that? There are mines in there. Metal case lying inside. Can't make it out. We were just down there. Can't get through there. So I'm going to slice into the fuel. Oh, hold on. Let's read that again. Oh, oh I'm screwing up. <coughs> Someone has sliced into the fuel depot computers and created a phantom fuel leak. Send them off the area with force fields to contain the blast. Yikes. Now when you would so think that stupid droid of yours gonna come through or not? Whoa, so aggressive. It's not mine. Well, I'm beginning to think I was a little better off in my... Hey, what do you know? A little cargo cylinder came through. We'll see. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. We don't have a clear run to the hangar. Oh, that's open this too much. Yeah. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. <laughs> Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Thanks. Guess I'm an idiot. Me? I'll find a way out of this mess. I'll take coward over stupid any day. I'll keep the comm link on just in case you need some help. Not that I'll come running, mind you. Sorry guys that I kind of sped through that It was an accident or second nature From playing MMOs And RPGs where you know the dialogue Already uh, Basically what it was is It's danger Down here And uh Which is here so we're heading for the merch, yes. There's danger there and since I am dark side on this playthrough, I told Etten that he would have to go. And he's like, uh, screw that noise. I'm not I'm not doing that. So I basically called him a coward and now I'm going in my skivvies. Alright, let's do it. 
hopefully we'll find some clothes soon too as if it'll matter because that little bit of armor that I'll get that uh, blaster fire will tear right through that just like stormtrooper armor can you read me? stay off the comm link I don't want you contacting me while I'm down here you can handle yourself fine I'm just looking out for my own skin At, out <sighs> these broken droids are gonna give me a heart attack I swear Look at that, we got clothes people, and some shields. We got clothes, and we got a shield. Not that the clothes or the shield are gonna matter. That one absorbs 20 points, this one exerts. It absorbs 40 electrical. Some point charge. Discarded. Okay, I think the regular one does better. So we're gonna use it to see if it'll make us be able to take more than one hit. Cause that might be beneficial. Being able to tank one, you know. So last time I checked, burst of speed helps raise your evasion and, you know, having high evasion in this situation wouldn't hurt. Oh, let's see how good my navigation skills are. Oh, even with force of speed on, I can navigate through uh, mines. Look at that. Now this game has a habit of putting you in situations where if you click an item that you're trying to get, even if you navigate the mines, it'll put you in a position to run into the mines anyway. Uh, yeah, let's, oh yeah, this is important this time. How many parts do I got? Six. Guess we'll just be putting, uh, nope. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Instead of putting him on control, I'ma just do my thing and hope that I don't get shot and die. <laughs> Did I accidentally put him on patrol? Guess not, but looks like I got enough parts to now. So, there we go. All right, buddy, go ahead ahead of me. All my life, I've never done this before. Let the droid go on patrol if he was out there. But it seems worth it. Wow, he is kicking ass, too. I'm running like a bitch. <laughs> Excuse my language, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh that was tense. I'm running like a little punk. the way. Yep, let my patrol droid take over. That was totally worth my time. And normally I have never ever even thought about putting a droid on patrol or anything like that. Or I'll do it, but just to do it like with XP. Oh, look at that. Oh, the shield was such a good idea because I just tanked those hits. I wonder how much I got left on this shield now. Him, some crit and a meta pack. Go ahead and fire that back up because it was so worth it tanking those hits like that. 
Ooh, you look bad, brother. You look bad. Let's play over here. Then. All right. Not much to explore. All right, and this is one of those times where burst of speed comes in handy. But it's scary because you cannot see. <laughs> I'd rather kill them before I level them because they'd be so irritating. Okay, we made it. Go to a semi safe place. At least over here, if something comes through, it'll get blew up by mines before it gets to me. Or not, I guess. Maybe I lied. I don't know. Maybe I lied. Okay, so what are we gonna raise, guys? What do you think? Uh, treat injuries useless. Awareness might be useful. Persuade. I'm leaning toward that just because I'm noticing that I'm probably gonna want to talk myself out of some situations in this game. Keep my mind on. Every time I level when it's retroactive. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But now, I don't even have a lightsaber yet. So, on our specialist, it's useless. Oh, yeah. You know what? I guess I could put a point in stealth and sneak around, but where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? I like this tension and this fear of getting killed every time I step somewhere. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a point in heavy armor so when I get some, I can wear it. And hopefully I can take more hits. And raise my defense before I have a power that'll do that. And here's hoping people. So, might be able to tank a couple of hits now. Yeah. Adrenal strength. That only comes in handy if you use a melee. And since we're not. Where even are you? Oh, it's okay. It's a maintenance drill, a tiny one. All right. Got lucky. I'm getting real lucky. Grip for a blade a weapon. More components. Sonic grenades. If I wasn't so terrified, I would test out some sonic grenades to see what they're doing, but I don't think it's worth it, honestly. Oh. Well, this is some form of death trap, isn't it? And if you look closely down here, right guys, if you look really, really closely, you can see the body of Han Solo after uh, being stabbed him in the fail. <laughs> That's such a tasteless joke. I, I know there's so many other trick, uh, oh god, other uh, nerds out there who are just pissed that I said that, but Harrison said that he wanted to kill off Han for a long time he finally got his chance so it's a uh, it's better off that way so you can see we got droids hidden or not hidden but uh, behind these barriers who if I screw up on this terminal they'll be unleashed and normally that wouldn't mean anything we'd just kill them all but with this mod on it's almost certain death so, let's save and get ready for some ruckus. All right, let's ride. All right, let's see what happens. Command functions, can I shut them down? That would be awesome, can I shut them down? Add other 
Droids to the protocols, cancel all droid mining function on organics. Continue. So if I'm correct, I just stopped them from wanting to kill living creatures, including myself. And if I'm wrong, I'm more than likely gonna die soon. So it is what it is. Everybody here? What's up, Corda? We're supposed to be sinking fuel siphons into the 3218 asteroid shelf right now. Forget the siphons. You know that survivor they pulled from the freighter? One of the miners said they served with him on Malachor 5. Malachor hmm. 5? So he's one of the survivors. Or worse. Mandalorian. So what? Not a survivor, idiot. He's one of the Jedi from Malachor 5. If he's one of the Jedi, hell, we can't have him walking around here. He'll... Well, I don't know what he'll do. I thought all the Jedi were wiped out in the Civil War, weren't they? Guess they missed one. But it gets better. I did some checking, and that bounty on Narshida is still alive. What? You want to sell the Jedi to the Exchange? Korda, have you been chewing spice? Look, you know how big that bounty is? That Jedi's our ticket off this rock. Gorda, there's no way the officers will go for that. They'll lock us up for sure. Then we'll improvise. Is that right? Hmm. Huh. That was interesting. Alright, so we'll do another quick save just in case my theory is incorrect. Oh, look at that. I can't even target them anymore. Look at that. That's awesome. I've never done this before either. <laughs> I normally just come and kill everything, but this is cool. Still can't diagnose it. I'll get the spare parts though. Look at that. That is so awesome. And I know a lot of people are like, dude, you've never done that before? Nope, because I am a highly aggressive player and I like to come in, guns blazing or lightsabers blazing or vibra sword blazing and simply kill everything that I see because I am an aggressive gamer. Which is why I suck at stealth games, usually uh, your Metal Gears and your Splinter Cells. I'm trash because I always get killed because I'll be doing well hiding and stuff. And then I'll just say, you know what, screw this. I'm about to jump out and just kill everything. And then I end up getting killed. Like I deserve, you know? Which is ironic, actually, considering that my training in real life and my moniker even is that of a ninja, where stealth is important. But I guess I'm more of a Ryu Hayabusa ninja than like a Tenchu or Tenchi ninja. <laughs> like, I want to jump in and get busy, get some action in instead of staying in the shadows. So, I don't know. All right, so apparently we've come full circle. I do have a habit of getting lost too, so that's probably another reason why it's like a step game. Oh. Yeah, picking up some strange readings. What are you doing down there? Uh, it's probably my fault. The containment fields in the mining tunnels are shutting down. You need to get out of there before they vent fuel to the surface of the asteroid through the tunnels. Can you override it? I may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do down there, make it quick. Because where you are is going to get real hot, real soon. Thanks, Atten. Thanks for nothing, as usual. Oh, you know what? It is so useful that I did this.
Gotta make the right. Uh, I know I could be getting parts from all of these. Ah, they're, they're gonna come in handy later. I gotta get the parts, guys. I'm sorry. I was just gonna run through and skip all of them. Those parts are gonna be important later. I already know. What's over here? Famous last words for most gamers. What's over here? Boom. And then you fall into a track or die or something. Oh, whatever. I don't care. I'd rather get closer to getting off this uh, station than waste any more time, guys. And so, that may be the last one that we scavenge, just for the effort of time management. Because this episode is already going to be a little longer than I would have liked. So. Maintenance guys and captains and stuff. Like Sid How Win. There's always a character that looks like Sid How Win in every game. Considering that this is a Sith playthrough, have you seen my T3? Hesitant answer. Ah, a T3 utility droid would be a common sight in this facility. It is indeed curious that I have not seen many since my arrival. However, I feel I must inform you that, droid prejudice aside, T3 models exhibit excessive individualism when not routinely memory wiped. This individualism can become such a nuisance that even a droid such as myself is tempted to reduce them to their base components, if not crush them into slag. But enough of my seemingly irrelevant tangent. Where did you leave the droid, Master? That would logically be the best place to look. <laughs> I forgot that you were such a dick. I'll come back to you. Of course, Master. Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were, Master. With the unexpected termination of my previous Master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Alright, so, I think we're going to head wrap this episode up here. Um, when we come back, we'll talk to HK some more and find out some more stuff. Then we'll explore this and find out what the hell happened, why everybody's dead, why the droids got set loose. Um, so, till next time, later my ninjas and keep it funky.